Welcome back to the End Times Prophecy News 7 o'clock report tonight. Monday evening, April 17th. U.S. deploys two more carriers to Korean Peninsula. Amazing. The U.S. is deploying two additional carriers to the Sea of Japan for training purposes from Zero Hedge. According to a report by South Korea's primary news outlet, Yonhap, the Pentagon has directed a total of three U.S. aircraft carriers toward the Korean Peninsula, citing a South Korean government source. Obviously, there's a lot more uh, jet fighters on those, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, carriers, excuse me. Uh, Jan Hap reports that in addition to the CVN-70 Carl Vinson, which is expected to arrive off the South Korean coast on April 25th, CVN-76 Ronald Reagan, currently in home port in Yokosuka, Japan, not far away, and the CVN-68 Nimitz Carrier Group, currently undergoing final pre-deployment assessment composite training unit exercise off Oregon, will enter the Sea of Japan next week. According to the senior government official, the U.S. and South Korea are discussing joint drills, which will include the three aircraft carriers and other ships. USS Carl Vinson, surrounded by a fleet of U.S. warships, was sent by Washington toward the Korean Peninsula in the beginning of April. While details are scarce and we would urge confirmation from U.S.-based sources, Yonhap also reports that, according to the government source, the operation of three aircraft carriers in the same location is unusual and demonstrates the U.S. commitment to North Korea. Other sources said the Trump administration is demonstrating deterrence by acting on its behalf. Quote, we expect it to be completely different from the previous administration. On Sunday, Pyongyang launched an unidentified projectile, but the test reportedly failed. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff, JCS, stated that the attempted launch was conducted from the area near North Korea's eastern port city of Simpo, but likely ended in a failure. The most recent group, or excuse me, the most recent map showing key U.S. naval deployments around the globe is shown below, as you see here. U.S. naval deployments around the globe. So we see the CVN-70 here, CVN-68, as we talked about near Everett, Washington, and CVN-77 way over here. Uh, and it looks like in the straight, I'm not sure where that is. Mediterranean Sea? No. Uh, looks like it's in between India and, uh, um, I forgot what you call that. But anyway, uh, CVN-69 is over here on the East Coast. Not far from where I live. Amphibious ready groups are noted here, as you see as well. Not far from each carrier. And they're called USS America is underway for sea trials in the Pacific Ocean. USS Baton ARG is underway in deployment in the US 5th Street AOR supporting maritime security and the USS Macon Island. See, so, and then this, here's a little, uh, tells you what's going on, what the trails mean, three weeks out, two weeks out, and one week out. One week out, the color changes, and three weeks out, it goes back to a dotted. Amphibious ready groups, I'm sorry, um, uh, so anyway, I'll let you read that, study it if you like. Breaking news, it's confirmed. We've just learned North Korea's plan. What? Despite international condemnation, North Korea plans to continue testing missiles week weekly, according to new reports. From bbc.uk, we'll be conducting more missile tests on a weekly, monthly, and yearly basis. We don't care about what the world says or any threats. We just do whatever the heck we want. Vice Foreign Minister Han Song Ryle told the BBC's John Sudworth. He said that an all-out war would result if the U.S. took military action. There wouldn't be much of an all-out war, bud. <laughs> Earlier, U.S. Vice President Mike Pence warned North Korea not to test the U.S. Uh, yes, like we've said many times, South Korea could get hurt pretty bad, which is our ally. 
Uh, it would be just like Kim Jong-un to do such a thing. He would be really ignorant if he tried to fire on China. He said his country's era of strategic patience with North Korea was over. And not only that, but I believe uh, South Korea has nuclear weapons. Seoul abandoned its nuclear weapons. Well, I guess they did then. But then here it says, uh, developing an additional nuclear weapons. So maybe not. If they do, it's kind of kept quiet. Earlier US, um, yeah, earlier, U.S. Vice President Mike Pence warned North Korea not to test the U.S. He said his country's era of strategic patience with North Korea was over. Mr. Pence arrived in, and this era of strategic patience is called the uh, Obama regime. Mr. Pence arrived in Seoul on Sunday, hours after North Korea carried out a failed missile launch. Tensions have been escalating on the peninsula with heated rhetoric from both North Korea and the U.S. Speaking alongside South Korea's acting president, Wong Kuo Wan, Mr. Pence said North Korea should not test U.S. President Donald Trump. Just in the past two weeks, the world witnessed the strength and resolve of our new president in actions taken in Syria and Afghanistan, Mr. Pence said. North Korea would do well not to test his resolve or the strength of the armed forces of the United States in this region. We reiterated U.S. support for South Korea, telling his host, we are with you 100%. Photos from annual White House Easter egg roll. On the lighter side, we have the children at the White House. That you can see they have their dangerous weapons here fighting each other with eggs. President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump host the 139th annual White House Easter egg roll, where they roll it on the grass, and I guess they try to get it inside there. I don't know. I've never seen it before, to be honest, or I've never seen any kind of an egg roll. Adults and children expected on the South Lawn for the festivities. Can I play? Come on, let me play. Oh, I see, you, you take a big cooking spoon and you roll it across the grass. The very smooth cut, green. <laughs> no, the very bumpy. Look at this one. He's out of his line. He is off sides. He's in her territory. And she's way back here. It looks like she just threw her egg way up here. It looks like it could be in the air. <laughs> This girl got a one big long heat and threw it way out there. That's the proper way to do it. So this guy is a real go-getter. And of course, it's one, one boy. Oh, I think it's a boy. I could be wrong. Uh, anyway, maybe it's all girls they're doing right now. We got an older one here. I, I think she barely made it into the age bracket. I, I don't know what the age bracket is. 12, maybe? Maybe 10? Liberals are trying to steal Georgia from conservatives, so Trump sent this tweet. We already heard this. The su super liberal Democrat in the Georgia congressional race tomorrow wants to protect criminals, allow illegal immigration, and raise taxes. Yeah. Atlanta was, uh, Georgia was a... a Sanctuary City. I think they've abandoned it. I'm not sure. Haven't heard anything. Uh, and I haven't researched it either. YouTube video encourages people to randomly kill cops. This happened when it was reported. Famous YouTuber Mark Dice. What? Why'd you do that, Mark? Alerted YouTube to a video that supposedly encourages viewers to start murdering random cops and their families. Sounds just like the fa anti-fascist. This was the response he received from YouTube concerning the video. We're unable to identify a violation of our community guidelines with your recent report to our safety and abuse. In other words, your safety and abuse 
has been rejected by our safety and abuse. <laughs> this was the message YouTube sent me at one hour after I flagged a video of a psycho telling people to start murdering, murdering random cops and their families. Because it is YouTube that wants that to happen. Obviously, YouTube is anti-American, anti-patriot, hates America. This was the message. Again, he says, I'm not going to link to or show the video because I don't want to give the guy any attention. But it was very specific about his plans. Good job, Mark. Well, I was reported to the police immediately, but YouTube hasn't taken it down for weeks and said it doesn't violate their terms of service. That shows you the scum that YouTube is all about. YouTube attention, you should have your lawyers sue YouTube for allowing, oh, NYPDT at YouTube. Allowing lawyers sue YouTube for allowing this. Check my feed and contact me for the details. Nice, Mark. YouTube has DM'd me asking for the URLs. Not sure what DM means. I will give them to them over the phone. I want to speak to someone on the phone about this. Good for you. Gave them my number 15 minutes ago in a DM. No response, no phone call yet. <laughs> Again, I'm not posting the URL or screenshots of the channel because the detective I spoke with advised against it at this point. Wow, that could turn into a big one, Mark. We might win on this one. This could change YouTube. Go, Mark. Praise the Lord. Well, let's pray that the Lord works through Mark Dice to get this done the right way. Maybe we could have a major victory against these demons. Anyway, thank you for listening. God bless you. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their